What's up everybody? Welcome back to Let's Play Death Road to Canada with Dog and Pony. I'm Dog and Pony and this is Death Road to Canada. If you want to check this game out, make sure to look at the video description for some links to all the various things about the game. The horror continues. Yikes. You know, developer, publisher, purchase on Steam, etc. Claude says, woof. Night Siphon. The group sets up camp late. On the nearby highway is a bunch of abandoned cars. They're broken, but many should have a little bit of gas. Would you like to send someone to siphon out the gas? I do want to send someone. I think I'm going to send Trevor because I... I don't know this, but I'm going to say him having a good mechanical ability and or high wits is going to contribute to him being able to siphon gas without getting sick. Trevor siphons the gas but accidentally swallows a bit and gets really, really sick that night instead of sleeping. Uh, we got 48 gas, but his morale goes down and then we eat a meal. So his morale's low and it, I think he's going to be tired as well. Yeah. That sucks. I was wrong. It is important to keep set rations to conserve our supplies. Yes, it is. I, I really thought that he would uh, not swallow gasoline because of you know his mechanical ability maybe he set up a little thing so he didn't have to like suck the gasoline down the tube in order to siphon it he made some sort of pump or something but no such luck sorry Trevor uh, but he did find a magazine so the group tries to loot a grocery store but it has been picked absolutely clean Trevor finds a magazine rack and decides to grab one to read uh American guns turnkey and good to go cat videos pictures or giant farts monthly well Definitely not turnkey and good to go. We don't know much about him. I think this should boost his morale though. It's what the title says, just pictures of cat videos. It was pointless in better times, but really popular after the internet went down. Trevor's morale increases, that's good, and his attitude increases as well, even better. We don't know what it is, but it's not the worst possible thing anymore. If it was that car breakdown, the group has broken down or the car is broken down from use and abuse. It won't start up again. We can attempt to fix it and definitely succeed or we can go on foot from here and hope to find another car. I don't know. I, I, I imagine the chances of us finding another car increase with us being not in one. We have found better cars while not in cars before. Or, well, we've found better cars while still having our current car before. But, it might be a better idea just to abandon it. This is quite the gas guzzler. We're gonna go ahead and abandon it and hope for the best. Alright. Nice walk! The group continues walking through the countryside. It is very uneventful, but at least there are no zombies or dangers in sight. For the first time in a long time, they are able to drop their guard and walk in some form of peace. Okay. Hopefully that dropped guard doesn't hurt us. I doubt it will. The leap of faith! The group gets sandwiched by zombie hordes while on the cliffside road. Without a car, the only way to escape was by jumping and hoping for the best. The fall was painful, but not fatal. Everybody got hurt. So our dogs are currently very low on health. MPGs, this is great. While wandering through a small town, Dog and Pony discovers a newer hybrid car in front of a store. The battery is dead, but the store turns out to be a car park store. Finding a working battery was easy. Hybrid cars have amazing gas mileage, but, there are, but they are fairly fragile. They're also very difficult to repair, so enjoy it while you can. Trevor should be able to repair it with minimal difficulty, so I'm not too worried about that. The group is driving down a long stretch of road. Finally, we found a trader camp. No threats on the horizon, but not much else of interest either. You have 103 food left. Unexpectedly, the group finds someone they can trade with. Absolutely visit Trader Camp. This is going to be great. What can we buy? Hopefully something. Uh, anything down here? Nothing interesting. All right. Pipe bomb salesman. Uh, the group finds a twitchy man selling homemade bombs. He's wearing a bulky coat with lumps bulging out from underneath. We'll probably buy some bombs. Let's see what the other guy is selling first and decide what we want. Shotgun Peddler. Uh, we're absolutely going to buy the big dog. That sounds amazing. I want to know what gear we do have. We do have a regular shotgun. How much uh, ammunition do we have? 54? Yeah, we're going to buy the big dog for 40 food here. 
The group buys the big dog. It's it's a one of a kind custom shotgun. Every shot is a massive blast of zombie splattering. We lose 40 food, of course, and the traitor falls for dog and pony's charm and gives extra. We got 20 more shotgun ammo. That's awesome. Let's go back to the pipe bomb salesman and buy. Let's see. Two bombs for five food. Five bombs for ten food. There's a little bit of a discount there. Okay. Yeah, sometimes it just. It's like two for five, four for ten. And, you know, like, there's no bulk discount, but this one does have a bulk discount. So, maybe we get all eight pipe bombs, or just five? At five, we'll still be above 50 food. I like this plan. Alright, the trader gives Dog and Pony an extra pipe bomb in an extremely awkward attempt at either flirting or friendliness. It's hard to say for sure, so we got six pipe bombs. Awesome! The charming perk and or trait is super good. We're gonna hop back in our car here, start it up, and we're only nine days away from Canada, so that's awesome. Hopefully we heal up a little bit. We've got the supplies. Oh, we used three of them. Bridget is at full health. That's it, though. The group arrives in a huge city conquered by undead and sees that their only chance is braving the sewer system. When opening the manhole, a cacophony of groans spill out this is not a good sign thick hunting oh there's more oh it's gonna be the time of day near sunset all right i need some coffee and then i'll get going into this river of death all right um so i wish we had healed up a little bit more prior to this we're gonna take the big dog they're both I thought, I, I, I couldn't remember how much ammunition the regular shotgun is able to hold, but it's uh, the same amount as the big dog, so that's good. I'll take the pipe bombs as well. Trevor's going to get, yeah, no, this, this is good, good, that works for him, and Bridget doesn't need anything either. All right, yeah. I guess this is our, our best bet here. We just, we want to start killing a couple zombies so we don't get overwhelmed in too many directions. And then make sure we're closing doors behind us whenever possible. It won't always be possible, but if it is, we do. All right, first door just straight ahead, that's nice. Close it, don't forget that. It. It helps more than you might realize. Yes, they break them down quickly, but it does buy you a couple seconds and it spaces the zombies out of it. They do start to bunch up behind you, or further and further behind you, they bunch up, but the ones that are near you get spread out further and further. Okay, right here, I want to use the shotgun and it's awesome, okay. One more shot with this, and then I'm going to switch back to the hatchet for ammo conservation. This isn't too dire of a situation yet. Trevor's getting real fatigued. He's still tired, I think. Alright. Can I close that? Yeah. Wasn't sure if I'd be able to safely get back there without them coming through. Okay. This is going fine. And the shotgun is going to... If, if we need it... If we need to use it, we we can get out of like any bind with it. The big dog is awesome. I have already decided. I still want to try out that minigun. I've never really had the opportunity to do so. And I've heard it's amazing. But that's fine. I'm sure we'll get to it eventually. Okay. It's, it's being real finicky about letting me change my weapons. Maybe if you're fatigued, you, you have a harder time changing weapons. Or if you're like in your recharge time on something, you can't change weapons. I'm not sure. I've never really noticed. I, that's not true. I've noticed it a little bit before, but never quite as extreme as it is now. All right, let's just try to get through here. All right, we should be close to the end. I can't imagine there's much more than what we've already been through. I'd guess one more door and then the ladders will be on the other side of it. I hope anyway. 
you know, a lot of that is just hopeful thinking. But some of it is actual actual speculation. We do not want to deal with those zombies. Or do we? You know what? Big dog. I'm going to let them come out. And then just shoot them as they come out. There's probably more loot in there than we lose by doing this. Oh, unless all those zombies kind of creep up behind us like this. Okay, that should do it. Someone pick up the blowtorch? Yeah, okay. We did that safely. One more time, and we're good. Now we, we go through this door, and there's gonna be a ladder, and there's not a ladder. I've also never seen one of those doors appear on a hallway like that. That was odd. Okay. Now it's getting a little bit more maze-like. I really thought we were close to the end. I guess not. Come on. Yes, okay. Here we are. We don't need to close the door behind us because we can just climb right out. Awesome. We got one food, 19 gas, and we, you know, we lost ammunition, of course, but not that much. We lost uh, 18 shotgun shells total and two bullets, and that's fine. We made it through safely. Nobody got hurt. We're starting to heal up finally. We're almost out of medical supplies though. We, we'd we love to have a medic in the group, but there's a glimmer of hope on the death road. The group feels inspired after managing to survive that situation. They feel they are getting the hang of this. Choose a reward for the group. We definitely don't want to do plus two strength for Claude. I've explained this before, but when there's four people in the group, you don't want to boost one person by two instead of boosting each person by one, because that's two instead of four. Um. The morale boost helps two of us, and the random skill gain is also important, and since medical isn't in here, I think it'll be a good idea to do random skill gains to hopefully get some medical. We're going through our medical supplies way too quickly. Let's see what we got. Every day is a great teacher as long as you don't get eaten. Morale goes up for Claude and Trevor, of course. Dog and Pony gets fitness, Claude gets medical, perfect. Trevor gets fitness, which is good because Bridget got mechanical. And Trevor wouldn't have gotten anything if he had rolled the mechanical boost, so we got all four uh, characters with a boost, and we're moving on. Pretty happy with that. We still got 54 food. It's always worth trying to loot a place, or else we could starve. Trevor, we're not going to starve anytime soon. Berry picking in zombie games. The group sets up camp for the night after being sure there's no danger here. They discover edible berry bushes all around the campsite. The berries wouldn't be a big amount of food for the work and the sleepless night, but every bit could help. We're gonna go to sleep, we've got plenty of food, and I don't want anybody being tired anymore. The group really doesn't want to pick berries for eight hours. The group eats a decent meal. Okay. All right, pretty good. I think we've got the makings of another victory here. As long as we recoup that supply of med kits, we should be good. While driving on the death road, the group decides to make a stop for supplies. I don't want to go to either of these two dangerous things, the ones marked in red. After that uh, sewer thing we just did, I'd rather just go to a grocery store, pick up a little bit of food to trade for medical supplies at the next trader camp. It's moderate, calm, late morning. I'm feeling good about this one. All right, uh, you don't get the blowtorch. You don't get to waste our gas, Trevor. I've seen the way you waste resources and I don't appreciate it. All right, this is good. We don't need the pipe bombs. We'll have the extra inventory slot instead. And it doesn't matter if we use the big dog or the normal shotgun because they both consume the same ammo. If it was between using the big dog and like a cowboy rifle and we didn't have any special weapon to use our cowboy rifle ammo, of course we'd use the cowboy rifle to conserve our special shotgun ammo. But when it's between the two guns using the same ammo and one being just ridiculously better, always go for the better one, even in the calmest situations like this one. So we want to take the path of least resistance, even if it's a longer path. It'll make killing each individual zombie easier, and the more zombies we kill without getting hurt, the better. Where's, okay, I didn't see uh, Bridget for a second there, Claude was like completely in front of her. So, we're good now. I, I thought maybe Bridget was stuck on some furniture or still trying to attack some zombies down below. There is a toilet in here. I'll take the time to go loot it. You never know what you might find. 
you know, it could be one gasoline, it could be a bullet or two, or it could be an otherworldly being that grants us a wish. All right. Uh, that sucked. Oh, come on, come on, come on. I got stuck on the shelf and moved downward because um, I was trying to go around the shelf. It's not good, but I'm not going to let it get to me. It happens. It's the first time I've taken completely unnecessary damage in a while, I believe. So it's fine. We're going to keep looting and uh, just hope for some medical supplies. Dug and Pony will not be dying here or anywhere soon. I, I'm confident enough to say that. Oh, he is pretty low on health. Oh, no, he's not. He, I guess he did heal up in the car with the last of the medical supplies, so now he's only down one health. I thought he was down two. That's good. I'm happy with that. And we're getting quite a bit of food, too, which is nice because now, even though we're not finding medical supplies, we'll be able to buy them and still stay above 50 food, which is a, a really great place to be. That untouched grocery store from yesterday, uh, that's unbelievably helpful. That's That's gotta be like a super rare encounter because it's, it's just so, it, it makes you so overpowered having that much food. All right, I think we're about done here. I think we've looted everything there is to loot. We got 10 food out of it. Not really much else, and that's fine. We didn't need much else, and this was this was the easy way out in regards to looting this, this area. We could have gone to two much more difficult things, and we chose not to. And I'm sure they would have had better loot for us, but, you know, we needed a break after that sewer extravaganza there. We're gonna floor it on out of here. And uh, we got 12 food. I guess somebody else picked up two food. A little bit of gas doesn't hurt, especially in the hybrid. That little bit actually is like half a trip's worth or so. All right. And again, we didn't actually gain ammunition. We just didn't use any. Familiar faces. Whoa, it's Patsy. It's nice to see a familiar face. She's eating a candy bar. Those things haven't gone bad. She's an ultra fit warrior, of course. And I know we were, you know, talking some crap about Patsy here last game, and then she ended up pulling through for us quite a bit. But I don't think there's anybody we want to give up. It is familiar faces mode, familiar characters mode, and we do only have two in our party in addition to the two dogs, but I'd like to keep the dogs. They're so happy. Trevor's the only one that's not completely happy. You know, I think we're gonna have to leave Patsy behind. Sorry, Patsy, but we did have you for like the entire last game. You Weren't you the buddy? I don't remember. If you, I think she was the starting buddy and she survived all the way to Canada. I was drinking some coffee there, but a sea of cars blocks the road ahead. The pileup is so bad that there is no obvious way through. We're not gonna do aggressive off-roading in a hybrid car. Trevor's gonna go ahead and find a new route. Trevor decides to make a detour. Taking this route was too optimistic. It lasted for days. Trevor's attitude revealed, uh, you know, pretty decent. And we eat a decent meal and lose some gas. It's unfortunate. Dog and Pony rolls up his sleeves and starts tending to their wounds. He tries to help but lacks enough medical supplies. That's still such a strange event to me. If we have no medical supplies, why would you take the time to try and use them? The group finds an inn open for business. The owner rings her hands, give me 10 food, I'll watch over you while you sleep. Haha, <laughs> she is super creepy. We're gonna haggle her down to five food, which actually saves us three food. It's perfect. Dog and Pony gets a better deal for the night. Uh, you're a sly one. Haha. <laughs> the innkeeper serves up an amazing breakfast. And uh, Trevor's morale increases, so instead of spending eight food, for the four of us and then getting no sleep, we spent five and got a good night's sleep. Another familiar face here, it's Bobby. It's nice to see a familiar face. She stretches, then she stretches some more. It's an elaborate stretching routine. This is where I might want to kick out one of the dogs. She's gonna give us six medical supplies and make much better use out of each of them than anyone we have can. Um. And we've already seen some huge benefits from Dog and Pony being charming. If 
with him being around, we're more likely to encounter more dogs later on. So I don't want to kick him out. Trevor's our mechanic. We need him. Don't want to kick him out. What are the dog's stats like? We don't know either of them. Claude's been with us for longer. I think we want to kick out Bridget. Sorry, Bridget, but you need to go. We're recruiting Bobby to the team. Good. Okay. I would have hated to see uh, Bridget not on the list of choices. All right. We go through, make that whole decision, and then we have to make it again be between the three that they give us. Bridget gets booted out of the group to make room for Bobby. Bobby joins the team. Onward to Canada. Yeah. How many days are we from Canada? Probably like seven? Seven. Nice. All right. And we didn't get medical supplies from Bobby? Huh. Rain starts pouring down. It's hard to see, and the shapes of zombies lurk right on the edge of the darkness. The group isn't sure what would be worse, continuing or stopping here. Oh, okay. We could probably seek shelter in the house, but that would be a siege, wouldn't it? We can go down side road and camp, but it's raining, and we'll be upset in the morning. Or we could just keep driving. We're going to seek shelter in house. The group doesn't even get settled into this house before they realize a large horde is closing in from the pouring rain. Siege alert, there's no escape. Massive nightfall, one hour. Try to survive. Yeah, we're going to keep Big Dog, of course. Claude gets nothing, as always. Bobby, what do you get? Not the blowtorch. We don't have enough gas for that. The other pistol doesn't have any ammo. You can get 16 shotgun shells. I'll give you a knife, a golf club, the other shotgun. And Dog and Pony gets the pipe bombs, of course. Let's let's roll. I think our best bet is to try to take out as many as we can from the beginning so that the rest are easier to deal with later. And that's, that's what we did. We got a last until 9 p.m. And, you know, we're doing a, an okay job at the moment. I'd really like nobody to get hurt, but if somebody does, it's not, you know, really the end of the world here, we can deal with it. We'd love to get medical supplies, but there are, don't appear to be any in the cabin. There was one piece of food, which is more than you get from a lot of uh, seizures, so I'm not going to complain. I just hope we don't get hurt. Because we haven't found any medical supplies in a while, and we sure did use a lot after being on foot. I gotta use the big dog, just continuously here. It's too dark for me to adequately plan a path um, to go into. Okay, the seizure's over. One more shotgun to do it. We're out, but nobody else is. Everybody's dying. This is not good. Uh, Trevor died. Let's get out of here. Yes, let's go. Unfortunately, we lost... Oh, we didn't lose it. I was going to say all of Trevor's ammo, but we didn't. And that's, you know, a, a positive there. Not the most positive thing. But three of us got out alive. Two of us got out unscathed. While driving on the death road, the group decides to make a stop for supplies. The fancy house. I'd love to go to Hot Dog Heaven. I might go to Hot Dog Heaven. But the fancy house is more likely to have medical supplies. This is going to be a lot of food. And it's going to be a lot of zombies. And that's what I want to avoid. Can we deal with it? I don't know. This is a tough one. Um, I should probably flip a coin, but I don't have any coins around me. Fancy house. After losing Trevor, I think we need to play it safe. We're going to go to the fancy house. Moderate calm, late afternoon. That makes me feel better, I think. I think that was the right choice. Where'd you get this knife? Did you just drop the golf club I gave you? What? What is it with people dropping the weapons I give them? All right, you get a gun. Uh, you can keep the knife and the pistol. You don't need a golf club. This is gonna be easy enough, I hope, and hopefully we'll get like four or five medical supplies. There's a lot more zombies than I was expecting. Expecting, um, considering what they said, wasn't it? Didn't they say moderate? I guess this is kind of late game moderate. I was talking about that the other day, maybe last episode or the episode before, how I think the sizes are actually different based on how late you are in the game. So moderate on day one is a lot less than moderate on day 12. But I don't know that for sure. 
Alright, I do want to kill as many zombies as possible before leaving this room, which is, you know, two more. We'll go up first. Oh, wow, okay, there's like six more zombies up here. The Hunger Pony is getting tired. What's his fitness? It must be super low. We don't know it. Didn't it increase, though, from a glimmer of hope? I think it did. We're gonna kill one more and then move on to the to the rooms. Start actually doing some looting. This is a big apartment. It, it did say it was a fancy house, didn't it? Not, not an apartment, just a fancy house. Okay. That ex I should have expected it to be this large. They usually are. When they're fancy, that, that just means big. Wow, okay, now that was unexpected. Even knowing it was a big house. That's, uh, really unexpected. Hopefully we get, I want to say, three medical supplies. I don't want to be, uh, I don't want to be too demanding on the game. But I do think we've earned three medical supplies. We need to kind of cool it here and rest up a little bit. We're, we're all kind of sweating here. Except, except for Claude. Claude's fine. Claude's always fine. All right. We're still not really good, but we need to just keep moving before it gets dark. I, I realized how late it is just now. And it's more important to get out of here before nightfall than it is to wait like an extra 10, 15 seconds, which is like another 5 to 10 minutes in the game. All right. Medical supplies. I don't know why you'd keep them in your stove, but I was really hoping. Oven. In your oven, on your stove. A combination. There's a safe somewhere here, so that's nice. And one medical supply is good. Please don't shoot. The pistol is too important. You're going to need that in emergencies later on. Pick up a piece of wood. Pick up a piece of wood, Bobby. You have a piece of wood? Stop using your gun. You're a jerk. Okay. I think I forced her to use that by swapping it into her top spot. I'm not sure if that's the case. You can have the nail board, Bobby. I know you're not, like, very physically fit. You're our medic. But, you know, I'd really appreciate you not wasting all our ammo. This cooler will hopefully have... I was going to say junk. Hopefully the cooler will have junk in it. Ugh. Okay. I wouldn't say we're in a bad situation. I think we're in an okay situation. Losing Trevor before he got an opportunity to do any repairs on our hybrid car does kind of suck. But overall, we're, it's, it's not the worst thing that could have happened. We could have lost Trevor and Claude. We could have lost Bobby after kicking out um, the other dog, Bridget. Um, and just kind of had that useless thing because Bobby didn't even give us the medical supplies I was expecting her to give us. We picked up a piece of paper. What does it do? I need to go back through and look in every room again because I swear we just picked up a combination to a safe but I haven't seen a safe. We've we've been to every room, I believe. It's kind of dark. I gotta like shift a little bit in my chair to make sure I can see the whole screen. Huh. No, there's no safe in this bathroom. All right. We gotta go to every room again. Not, you know, the ones we just went to. Just the rest of them. No safe in this bathroom. I'll check here again, just in case. No safe in this bedroom. Is it under the bed? Is it a floor safe? Are there floor saves in this game? Saves or safes? Probably safes. Uh, you know, like, knife is knives. But I think safe is safes. What's that piece of paper for? I found it! It was right here in this bedroom. Okay, dog and pony unlocks. It opens the safe. Along with some now useless papers that had no uh, medical supplies, unfortunately. An auto shotgun, but we have the big dog. A box of 60 rifle ammo, a shotgun with 20 shells, or a cowboy rifle and 30 ammo. So we're not taking this one. We might take this for the 20 shotgun shells that'll go great with our big dog. 
We can't take this because we don't have a cowboy rifle, so it's, it'd be useless, at least for now. It might become more useful later, but we'll go with the... Shotgun shell. Alright. Bobby, pick it up. Not being terrible. Okay. Um... Yeah, and that's it. We're, we're running out. I think... I didn't notice the safe because it kind of blended in with the floor. Yes, let's go. Six food, one medical supply. Not the best haul, but an okay one. And that is all for now, but thank you for tuning in. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to click that like button. Subscribe if you want to see more in the future. And don't forget to comment with your custom character for the 100th episode special with just a quick description, a name, a perk, and a trait. I'll see you in the next episode.